What's up bros? Welcome back to another General Discharge video. Veteran Vinny here. If this is your first time with us, our voices and faces are disguised so we can give you information on just about anything without being detected. Today we're going to go over how to get this. Today's video is going to be about how to stencil your gear, but mainly focusing on your t-shirts. If you're planning on joining any type of special operations training, you're going to have to stencil your shirts. Now obviously there are going to be specifics on what is expected on how and where you're going to put your stencil on your shirt, but you'll learn that when you're in training. All sorts of different training pipelines have their students stencil their shirts, each with their specific guidelines. Today I'm going to show you a bare bones, simple, and cheap way of you doing it for your own personal use, which may help you in the future when it comes down to your actual training. There's always that one dirtbag who fucks up their stencil or they look like a bag of ass. We're going to help you to not be that guy. For today's video, all we're going to use today is some cardboard, a white t-shirt, some black sharpie markers, and some pre-cut stencil letters. When you're in training, you can use a text pen or something more high class, but like I said before, we're doing the cheap and simple way for this video. Your last name will also be either supplied to you or you'll have to go make it yourself on one of those stencil machines, but luckily we can arrange these letters however we want. Alright, let's get to it. Firstly, find a flat surface to work on. Grab your t-shirt and lay it on the surface. Take your piece of cardboard, which should be big enough for you to be able to stencil on the entire thing without having to move it, and put it inside the shirt. You do this so when you start stenciling it doesn't bleed through to the other side. I guarantee when you get into training you'll see someone who forgets to do this or messes it up. Next, make sure your shirt is flat with as little wrinkles or crumpling as possible, then place your stencil so it's nice and center on your chest. If you're in a pipeline and there's specifics to where it needs to be, make sure to follow that. Once you have placed it where you want it, either hold the stencil down with your hand firmly in place so it doesn't move around, or find a way to keep it from moving. Take your sharpie or fabric marker and either do light strokes or press down and make dots. Do not press down too hard though, because the marker may bleed past the borders and make your stencil look like trash. Before we start speeding this up, remember to take your time with this. You'll have to stencil quite a few shirts when it comes down to it, but don't rush through it. Even if it takes you 20 minutes a shirt, you're better off taking your time so you have a good finished product. We're going to speed this up for you, as you probably get the idea now. Once you're done with the front, simply flip the shirt around, adjust the cardboard as necessary, and do the same thing on the back. Look at that shit. That's pretty crisp for a sharpie. If you plan on taking this in the pool, working out and sweating in it, or washing the shirt right after you stencil, one tip I have for you to make sure the sharpie doesn't bleed once the shirt is wet is to take your freshly stenciled shirt or shirts and go put them in the dryer for a little while to make sure the ink is 100% dry. Well, that's how you stencil your t-shirt. It really is that simple, yet you'll see these get messed up a lot. If you learned something today, make sure to show us some love and support by subscribing to our channel and liking the video. As always, thanks for watching. What would you like to see next? All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.